The binomial distribution is a discrete probability distribution associated with events that have only two possible outcomes. It can be used to find the probability of the number of successes in a given number of trials. In exam for example, if we were to toss a coin ten times, ten is the number of trials, and we, might, and we might be interested in knowing the probability that six of the ten tosses will be heads. Or, what is the probability that three of the ten tosses will be three? In another case, if the probability of snow each day in the mountains is 25%, what is the probability that it will snow five out of nine days? In either of these cases, we can use the binomial distribution to calculate the probability. The formula for the binomial distribution seems pretty complicated. But really, we're just plugging numbers into this equation and solving for the probability of x. In this case, x is the outcome that we're interested in, the number of times the given outcome occurs within the n trials. So we're interested in knowing the probability of x. n is just the number of events or trials. So in 10 coin tosses, n would be 10. P is the probability of the given outcome in a single trial. So if the outcome is flipping a heads, and we only had one trial, what's the probability of flipping a heads? In that case, p would be 1 half, or 50%. In the case with the snow days, we said that the probability of snow is 25%, and therefore p would be 25%. So this is the probability of success on any given trial. Q is just the probability of the complement, or the probability of the other outcome. Because in this case, we are only dealing with binomial, uh, binomial experiments. Uh, the complement is just a failure on any given experiment. And the probability of the complement is 1 minus P. We know that from the rule of complements, because P plus not p equals 1. And therefore, let's just say not p equals q. Sorry, it's lowercase q. Then we can rearrange terms and find that q equals 1 minus p, which is exactly what we have over here. The only confusing thing that we have in this equation is the exclamation mark, which is notation used to define a factorial. If you haven't seen factorials before, I do recommend that you try to look them up on the internet. But very briefly, n factorial is simply the product of n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, and you keep on uh, multiplying these numbers together until you get down to 1. So as an example, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So let's apply the binomial probability distribution to determine the probability of obtaining 3 heads in 4, sim in four consecutive coin tosses. So in this case, 4 is the number of experiments, n. So we have n equals 4. The probability of getting a heads on any of the one experiments is 50%. And the probability of the complement, q, is also 50%. In this case, we are looking for the probability of obtaining 3 heads. So the probability of 3. And therefore, we'll let x equals 3. All that remains is to plug everything into the equation. So this equals 4 factorial times a half to the third times a half 4 minus 3 to the 1. x factorial is 3 factorial. And we have 4 minus 3 factorial, 1 factorial. So let's uh, cancel off some terms. We see that 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial is just going to be 4. We have 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 
and 3 factorials 3 times 2 times 1. And we can just cancel off these terms. So we have 4 times and a half to the third plus a half to the uh, times a half is just a half to the fourth. So we have a half to the fourth. And the one factorial is just equal to one. So we don't need to keep track of the denominator anymore. So this is just equal to four times one over two to the four, which is one sixteenth equals one quarter. So the probability that we will get exactly three heads when we flip a coin four times is 25 percent.